G'day, I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv. In this video, we're going to take a look at margins and padding, and uh, some strange changes in relation to Delphi uh, XE3 to 4. So I have here a blank uh, FireMonkey application in Delphi XE3, and I'm going to throw a panel and a button onto the form and I'll set the align property to top for the button. Now if we want to create a 5 pixel gap between the top of the button and the top of the panel, there are two ways we can do it. Um, we can down, come down to margins and, well there, there are lots of ways actually, but um, uh, for this example we're going to look at margins and padding. So we can set a 5 pixel uh, Ma um, margin at the top of the for the panel or on the button we can go to padding and set that to 5. Now the more astute observers will note that this is the opposite uh, to the VCL and in fact uh, if we create a VCL app um, uh, in fact why don't we do that uh, let's add an existing application VCL as new project VCL forms application and a panel button and align that to top. Let's make it a bit bigger. And to create our our five pixel uh, gap we can go down to padding on the panel or on the button we can um, well actually we need to set align with the margins to true and that's created a, a three pixel uh, if we don't five and if we want to be consistent make it the zero so um, so in Delphi XE3, the margins and padding uh, are reversed from um, the, between the VCL and FireMonkey. Now, if you want a more complete explanation about uh, margins and padding within the VCL, uh, you can go by my building applications in Delphi using the Visual Component Library Part 1, uh, to which I spend uh, quite a few minutes dedicated to margins and padding. Um, enough of the uh, sales pitch. Back to Delphi. So um, that's an XE3, but uh, today I was playing with XE4 and uh, was quite surprised by the fact that um, in the latest FireMonkey, um, these the situation is reversed. So if we come to uh, Delphi XE5, and this is the same in Delphi XE4, and uh, do the same thing. So we come down at a panel and a button, go to our alignment and set it to top. And on our panel, uh, sorry, on our um, panel, um, we come down say to padding, uh, similar to XE3, uh, and padding affects the inside of controls, uh, just like the VCL, and opposite to FireMonkey in XE3, and um, margins ex uh, affects the outside. So um, I don't know uh, why this is suddenly uh, reversed, but um, in many ways I think it's a good thing because if you're going from the VCL to FireMonkey, uh, it's far more natural. Uh, but if you have a um, FireMonkey application in Delphi XE3 and bring it into XE4 or XE5, um, your layouts are going to change. And in fact, uh, I can probably demonstrate that. So that button is um, got a top margin of 5. So I'm going to save that form. Uh, date times changed. Yes. So I've got them both open. In fact, that's not even opening. Uh, 
Um, let's try reopening that. There we go. And we see that we've got no margin at the top or no, no padding, uh, <laughs> depending on how you, uh, um, how you interpret it. So that should be uh, our margin is five at the top. Uh, oops. And it is still five here. So padding five. Uh, padding five. So that's um, enough from me. Uh, I'm not sure why this has changed, but um, it, it's very strange. Uh, and I'll leave you with that. Cheers. I'm Alistair Christie. Thanks for watching.